We're nearly two months out from November's election, but local election leaders are already saying you need to plan ahead. Our Danae Bucci joins us now live with more on this. Danae. After June's primary election problems, local election officials are making changes to make sure this new election doesn't have any problems like they did last time. Now, the Chatham County Board of Registrars announced changes for both absentee and early voting. They are expanding early voting this year by adding five new early voting sites to the county. This is in addition to the main site on Eisenhower Drive. Those additional voting sites throughout the county are making it easier for voters to access polling centers. Those needing more time to get to the polls. Weekend voting is available at two sites, the main site on Eisenhower Drive and the Civic Center. And as for mail out ballots, we um, only mail out ballots to those who actually request them. And the reason that's important is it adds an additional level of security because that absentee ballot request is first checked by our staff to make sure that the, you know, absentee request is legitimate, that it's complying with all of the statutory requirements and that the signature matches those we have on file uh, and that kind of thing. So that's the first level of scrutiny that's applied. And then when the ballot comes back, it gets the same level of scrutiny again. Now, state election officials say they have already seen a huge uptick in interest in absentee voting recently. The board said it's likely because the Secretary of State has expanded the program this year and people are less inclined to leave their homes due to COVID-19 concerns. But election officials are hoping the changes will relieve pressure from polling centers come Election Day. Early voting runs from October 12th to October 30th. Now, you can register to vote in a number of ways. You can do it online through the Secretary of State's website, as well as the my voter page um, and you can do it online or in person, excuse me, through the county voting registration office and any Department of Driver Services office. Uh, Shannon. Danae, there's been a lot of concern over mail in voting due to U.S. Postal Service cuts. So is the chairperson worried at all? The chairperson says that they are aware and planning for delays, but says that there hasn't been any evidence to suggest that people should be worried. But if you are worried, you can actually bring your absentee ballot to any of the ballot drop off boxes throughout the county. There are several and they are actually regulated by the state. And if you want to go ahead and mail in your ballot, he says to do so with 10 days prior notice to the election, meaning you have to drop off your ballot 10 days before Election Day, which is November 3rd. Reporting from Savannah, Danae Bucci, WJCL 20. News. Danae, thank you. Now you must register to vote by October 5th to participate in this year's general election. All ballots must be received by 7 p.m. on Election Day.